evening. I am trying to record this while you are sleeping. In the afternoon, it's three twenty, and pardon the messy hair. Just don't watch this with your friends. Uh, as I promised, I'll start taking you into my kitchen. Welcome, and uh, today let's get into the process of. Uh, preparing the most important ingredient uh, curry powder which I learned from my mom and Kasia uh, Nanima and um, this is very important ingredient you should have it in your kitchen so first go and make this and then you can go on to any other recipes so I hope these people stop drilling so that you can sleep properly and I can finish recording this but um, also we had a beautiful day today morning uh, we went to a farm and we saw uh, we bought some broccolis you love broccolis by the way we eat a lot of them today no rice but a lot of broccolis a little bit of fish and also um, today um, we saw fish there was a little small fish it was um, uh, trying to make its way into the pond from the from a small channel and uh, you tried to catch it i caught it and yet showed you from close by i think this is the first time you saw the fish so um, i think you liked it and i hope you remember that this is what is called a fish and um, you know what um, i think you had a good morning today you've been very active today all day and uh, it was a beautiful morning with nature okay so let me get in the kitchen first and I have to stop recording because you might wake up any time. Okay? Love you. Okay, so here we go. We add 2 cups of coriander seed first to a kadai wok anything. And then we add uh, some cumin seeds around half a cup. Jeera. That's together half a cup and one tablespoon of fenugreek seeds. It becomes bitter if you add more, so don't add too much. This is some uh, fennel seeds. I added around two tablespoons. Some peppercorns, black pepper, one half tablespoon. Some poppy seeds around one tablespoon. tablespoon sesame seeds some green cardamom around 15 I added this will add uh, when we add this some uh, cinnamon sticks when we add this uh, cloves around 10 when we add these things it becomes the combination of garam masala as well some bay leaves now we just heat it for around uh, 2 minutes on high flame or low flame, medium flame, anything is fine but it should not exit like it should not burn out okay, it should just get heated. If you cannot do this, if you can put them on the sun, it's even better, that's how it was traditionally used to be done but um, you know apartment dwellers, they do not have the luxury of having a uh, sun rays actually so we heat it and uh, finally towards the end we added one kasuri methi one tablespoon because that will burn up quickly so that we add towards the last and it's almost done heated now we'll transfer it to a mixing container just grind it up and the powder is done you can make it as fine as you want just store it in a airtight jar and you are ready to go okay this is what the curry powder looks like since ages in our family okay i never buy them i mean no rarely i rarely buy them when i do not get time to make this but it is very much easily made and your nanima never bought it she always made it Anyways, there are some pics I have attached at the end of today's morning. It was beautiful morning as I said. So, 
just enjoy the pics i'm sure you have already seen them but just as a reminder okay i loved the morning you loved the morning we all loved it okay okay here's the curry powder and here are the pigs water water plants we saw and this is you and mama near a lake some more there's papa and here you were trying to papa was trying to save your legs but you still stepped on the soil all three of us on a scooter here and this does look like a caterpillar i wanted to show you the texture so you were holding it and i love the pic those little fingers <laughs> papa holding you up and there is some tiny little bouquet your mama likes to make and this is my favorite photo of the day you're looking at this little butterfly your papa caught